What up everybody and welcome back to The Forge. Because we're in The Forge you know exactly what's going down and you can read the title. We're trying some new number one float skins from the latest collection introduced into CSGO, the Revolution Collection. I promised on this video, if we hit 10,000 likes, I would attempt the new AK-47 headshot. It's taken me quite a while to try and track down all the items to put any of this together. I had to try and look up all of these items individually and hunt them down and then contact their owners. Funny story about this one, the number one stat track P2000 Wicked Sick. He agreed on a price with me. I said I'd give him half in real money and then half through the steam market so he put it up for 120 dollars on the steam market and then boom despite me being there spam refreshing f5 just so i could get it a market bot sniped it which was absolutely gutting because i was down a hundred dollars and i didn't even get the skin in the end to show for it and put into a trade up i'm actually so fed up of these market snipe bots for example i'll let you guys in on a little secret i am trying to put together the contract for the new number one dragon law in the entire world another 10 percent it's obviously going to cost me ludicrous amounts of money and i've tried a whole bunch of times in the past failed think this will 100 percent be the last ever attempt at it if i manage to get all of the skins for it i'm missing a good six or seven right now but one of the skins i needed for it this one the number one fuchsia is now it was sold on the steam market recently for 54 dollars sniped by a steam market bot so i contacted the guy who had sniped it and i said hey i'm willing to offer you 500 dollars for this thing 10 times more than you paid for it and he said no he shut me down i think steam market bots are just absolutely rampant at the moment like you can't put up anything low float without it just instantly disappearing and then getting resold on later for just extortionate amounts of money so i doubt valve actually watched my videos but if you do please try and do something about these market sniping bots because it's a nightmare for someone like me however i'm getting incredibly off topic let's delve in to some revolution trade-up contracts because as i mentioned earlier i've kind of failed to get quite a lot of the skins that unfortunately i really really needed for this video and it's taken me a long time to get the ones that i have already got anyway i'm going to be starting at the restricted category and then working my way up hopefully fingers crossed to the classified and then from the classified double fingers crossed to the covert. Our very first contract is going to look a little something like this. Five items from the Revolution Collection. Five items of exceptionally low float from other random terrible collections that we would not want to hit. And that gives us about 45% or so to hit the Revolution Collection and hit an item that is super low float that's usable in the next stage of our trade up. First contract up for a 0001 duality wild child or wicked sick i'm not sure if this would be number one of each i think it might be i'm not sure we'll find out if we get it we'll find out right let's count it down three two one something from the revolution collection pretty please Ooh, ooh, that's not what we wanted the over 45 percent not coming through second contract up all restricted fairly similar odds about 45 percent or so for the revolution collection let's get it Oh, bro, that's not what we want. First two contracts, epic failing. No, 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 one. Ah, oh, it's not even, no, 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 two. We only have one shot at the stat track restricted version of this trade up contract. A lot of you are probably going to hate me, especially the low float skin collectors, because this guy right here, four zeros and an eight, the number one M4, A4. Enforcerus. Whoever named this, thank you, because I get a cheap laugh out of it. Pretty similar odds there being five items from the Revolution collection in here. Forge, third time's a charm. Three is my lucky number. Let's do this. I believe it will be the number one, either Orb Duality, P2000 Wicked Sick, or um, Wild Child in Stat Track. We need it for the classified stage of contracts. Let's go. Three, two, one. Please, please don't fail me this time. Let's go. Okay, nice. We got something from the Revolution Collection. Happy, happy days. So wicked sick. Let's have a look at the float. 0003. Very nice. And of course, this is the number one. We did it. We crafted the number one wicked sick from the Revolution Collection. Super cool. However, it's not going to stay number one for very long. It's going to be eaten. It's going to be eaten by Gaben. No Gaben. 
Stop eating all my skins. Stop it. I told you about this. Let's move on to the classified. First up is the non stat track classifieds. Now, we only have one item to go in this, and that's a 0.0002 wild child. Obviously, we failed our two restricteds right at the beginning of the video. That would have boosted our chances a little bit more. But instead, we are left with a 10%. If we hit either of these skins for the 10%, they will be number ones. They will. And that would be a very cool achievement to get. So let's do this thing. We actually get an opportunity to use this leather glass as well, straight away. That's good. Delete it from the game. The wild child has managed to get into slot number three. Maybe that's a good omen. Only one single shot at this for the 10% either the M4, which is pretty darn sick, or the AK-47 headshot, which this is the attempt, I promised you, for those 10k likes. Let's set another like goal, 10,000 likes, and I will tell everyone everything I know about Source 2. If we hit that like goal, you'll get silence from me, because <laughs> I know just as much as you guys. But you can show your support with that like button anyway. Send me the good vibes to hit this contract. Let's get it, 10% wild child, come on. Come on, we got this, we got this. In three, in two, uno, 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 let's go. Oh dear, the Glock 18 Wasteland Rebel is definitely not what we wanted. Uh, I mean, it's exceptionally low float, which is pretty cool. I doubt it's the number one. Let's have a little look and see what number in fact it is. It's the number five, absolutely terrible. And just like that, we failed our non stat -trek attempt at the 10%. Our last and final contract, it is for the number one stat track of both M4A4. I still don't know how to say this, by the way. Temukau. I'm just going to call it that. Correct me in the comments. I'm probably wrong. Or the AK-47 headshot. Currently, the number one stat track headshot is... Yeah, no, 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 nine. That's terrible. We smash it. The Temuka is 0, 0, 0.1. 8. Basically a 0, 0, 2. Terrible. We smashed that too. And because we crafted this bad boy, it actually gives us a 20% instead of a 10%. Number one float covert from the Revolution Collection in stat track. Best condition possible. It would be incredible if we managed to hit the Revolution Collection. However, we got a lot of other YOLO random collections in here. The Melodrama, we can actually get the Nightwish from. Don't think it would be number one, but it might be like a top five. Might be quite cool to get. Probably a runner-up prize. Something like the Neo Noir or the Bloodsport. That's not what we want to see. The Visions, we can actually get like an Orb Chromatic or a USPS Print Stream in low flow. That would be pretty cool too. Having said that, there are also equally rubbish options here, like the Judgment of Nubus. Without further ado, let's do this. I promised to deliver it to you guys, so here it is. Probably spent in excess of $3,000 or so on this video. So, as always, your like is highly, highly appreciated. Let's go. Little countdown, shall we? In three, for the 10% forge, fires of the forge, roar for me. In two, in one, pretty please, Revolution Collection. Pretty, pretty please. Oh, I mean, it's. <laughs> It could have been a lot worse. It's not what we were going for. It's still pretty sad. It, it could have been a hell of a lot worse. USBS print stream, 0004. Let's have a quick look at that. Is that top five? Yeah, it's number three. We got so far. We got so far on our journey. I was feeling good about that 20%. Uh, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse. If you guys have any other suggestions for sick trade-up contracts you would love to see, please let me know down below in the comments. And just because I'm feeling in a generous mood, I'm going to give this guy away in the comments down below as well. StatTrack M9 Bayonet Safari Mech. So make sure to leave your encrypted trade link down below. I will be randomly picking one of you and I'll be sending this out to you. Thank you everyone so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the roller coaster. I love going through it all together every single time. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I've also got an updated forge coming out. I should probably mention that as well. But although this is absolutely sick, there's even sicker things coming. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.